Here's the code for our box class. It works fine, except when I print a variable that refers to a box object. When I do this print, Python uses its default method to convert the object to a string, and it gives us this output, which isn't terribly useful. There's a way to fix this. We're going to define another special method in the class. It's named underscore underscore str underscore underscore, and it takes self as a parameter. Now, whenever Python needs to convert a box object to a string, it will call this method. The body of the method must return a string, and the string we're going to return will be a lot more informative. We'll use an f string to return the length, self.length, the width, and the height. Now, when Python does the implicit conversion to string in this print statement, it'll call our string conversion method, and we'll get much nicer output. The string conversion method is also called implicitly when you put a variable in an f string. For example, if I were to say here, box 1 has dimensions and use braces to implicitly do the conversion, it will again call my string conversion method and I'll get the nicer output. The string conversion method is also called when you do an explicit type conversion using the str function. If I were to do the output this way, and then append or concatenate box1 explicitly converted to a string, I get the same result. That's how you convert objects to strings to produce more useful output.